Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com, and Brandon Clark in the flesh. We're, we're both wearing the same shirt and the same hat, man. Oh, yeah. That's kind of crazy. I didn't realize didn't that. Didn't even notice that. That was not planned. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about pre-workouts or pre-workout alternatives, so get ready. All right, so let's talk about pre-workouts here. There's several different pre-workouts on the market. A lot of people, I think pre-workouts and protein powders are probably the most supplemented things as far as supplements go. Um, a lot of pre-workouts aren't really keto friendly due to the sweeteners they use. Some of them are, some of them aren't. I've tried to phase out pre-workouts and reintroduce them. A lot of people overdose their pre-workouts. So if it says one scoop, make it one scoop or less, not like one scoop plus a handful and then another scoop to add some. Don't do that. Um, if you notice yourself having not really much of an effect from the pre-workout, that's probably an indicator that your adrenals are fatigued and that your caffeine receptors are you know, just overused. So try and titrate down a little bit on the caffeine. But today we're gonna to be talking about pre-workouts. I just got a new pre-workout called Pre-Caged from Caged Muscle. Um, just had Chris Gethin on the podcast, so I got his stuff here. And then Brandon, you do not take any pre-workouts, right? I do not. Do not. So he's got like no. his pre-workout free pre-workout that he does. And we'll talk about that as well. So when it comes to pre-workouts, like I said, there's a whole bunch of different formulas. You want to make sure you check the sweeteners and see what they're using. A lot of stuff is, like I said, not keto friendly. Try and stay away from anything with actual carbohydrates in there. Most of them, like this one, has got sucralose, um, which is not really ideal for keto, but... It doesn't really have too much of a negative effect on me other than a little bit of water retention, so I'll continue to use it. Um, I tried this for the first time this morning and it felt pretty good. Had a good consistent energy throughout the workout and I didn't get any kind of flushes or anything like that. Have you ever tried this one? I have. You have? I have. How did it affect you? So I thought that this product along with uh, Keto Pump, uh, both of them seem to be the best out of the ones that I've tried but I still get that off feeling yeah. to, to where I just don't like it. I, I really think they're high quality products. And, and what so, is it that causes that in you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. I can't really narrow it down or pinpoint it, but pre-workouts include some ingredients that I'm able to somehow eliminate in my separate concoction that I've come up with that uh, where I'm able to avoid it as long as I stay away from pre-workout formulas. Yeah makes it's strange but it makes sense because there's a lot of a lot of blends in the pre-workouts a lot of proprietary blends you have to stay away from those a lot of them say and advertise that they're having so many ingredients in there when oftentimes they don't um, but let's just look at this one for example this has got the sucralose in there but it's also got um, a lot of this is gonna be pretty typical for pre-workouts it's got L-citrulline 6.5 grams which is a pretty good amount um, it's got your leucine isoleucine and valine so your branched chain amino acids it's got carnosine, which is beta alanine. Um, this particular brand has 1.6 grams of beta alanine. So if you, a lot of them have beta alanine and or a combination of niacin or vitamin B3. And that's what you have when you have like too much vitamin B3 or too much niacin, you have like these flush, this flush feeling, so you get really itchy. Um, which basically, when it comes to the pre-workouts, I noticed three effects. You either get like this really crazy itchy flushed feeling which I'm not really a huge fan of all right y'all about to work out I'm gonna do some squats today I'm feeling good I've got like the tingles my face is kind of flushed to feel red pre-workouts kicking in let's do this Ooh. man hold on a second what's five me Brandon all right let's do this one, two, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got, I got, I got some itches, man, it's all good. <laughs> no, one more, one more time. And then you also have like a, a nice steady increase in energy, but you still, you, it's more of a focus. Like you feel focused, but you don't feel like just crazy, like you're gonna destroy something. It's more of like a really calculated, strategic focus towards a given thing, which is the workout. Oh, yeah, I feel good. 
you get like this crazy intensive power extreme feeling which just makes you want to go crazy and just lift everything in your path which I am a fan of but you notice a, a, a dip in energy after that usually ah! all right crystal I got your spot I got this Um, those are normally the three side effects I notice from, from pre-workouts. Um, again, make sure you don't overconsume them. I'm curious about what you've got going on here because you said the pre-workouts affect you negatively. You feel just yes. like dizzy or what, what kind of feeling is it? I, it's really hard to explain. I just kind of fi I feel off and it doesn't go away for a while after I'm even done with the workout. Um, it's almost like whatever is in it Whatever ingredients are in it to help you focus gives me an opposite effect. Hmm. Um, I'm not really sure why or why that's so consistent with all the pre-workouts that I've tried, no matter which brand I go with, uh, but I had to come up with a little bit of a different uh, concoction. So, yeah, what we got here, man? Um, so I looked a lot at, uh, at that formula uh, when I was coming up with this, and I... Uh, and I also have looked at the formula with uh, Keto Pump um, by American Metabolics. And uh, one thing that I wanted to keep for sure was the citrulline content. So I noticed in that, that has six and a half grams of citrulline. And then um, Chris Gethin created this product to be an intra workout, the Encaged uh, product by Cage Muscle. And it has an additional three grams of citrulline. So what I did is I just bought the raw citrulline product from Caged Muscle, and each scoop has two grams. And so for my intro workout, I will do one scoop of the Encaged, mm -hmm. which has three grams, and then I'll do three scoops of the citrulline. And uh, so it'll equal out to about the same total citrulline, and I'll sip that through my workout. And I'll typically only start with um, the... Uh, caffeine pills and I really like cage muscles caffeine pills I tried a couple of the different ones uh, but his <clears throat> excuse me his is uh, they are um, veggie caps and uh, and it's also I believe it's an organic caffeine source um, so I'll usually start off with one pill they come in 100 capsule uh, containers how many milligrams per, per pill one has uh, 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams. So I'll usually start with one of those, and then this I'll sip throughout my workout mixed with the citrulline, and it has 124 milligrams. So you end up with a, you know, with a straight shot dose in the beginning of 200, and then a slow, steady dose um, spread out through the workout of about 124. And uh, I feel like that's, that's a good amount for me. I drink a lot of coffee anyway, yeah. um, so I really don't want more than that and uh but it really keeps my energy steady through the workout and then what i've been doing a lot lately that i've liked a lot is adding a teaspoon of uh pink himalayan salt as well since salt has that uh, natural vasodilation mm -hmm. effect and uh, i've really noticed an additional edge as well and then the only other thing that i will add in that i don't have with me right now is cage muscles uh creatine hydrochloride um, the concentrated form yeah. and I really like that as opposed to creatine monohydrate for some reason I, I don't feel great taking that either I've tried many different kinds and um, the creatine hydrochloride seems to work best with my body I think creatine making sure you've got your electrolytes in check making sure you're hydrated obviously having adequate amount of caffeine but not over overly consuming caffeine is good and then one thing I like about your concoction here, and then I just noticed that this doesn't have that much beta alanine. A lot of pre-workouts have a ton of beta alanine, which is one of the more glucogenic uh, amino acids. So I tend to avoid over-consuming that. But, you know, do this. Look at all the ingredients whenever you're getting a pre-workout. If you choose to get a pre-workout, look at all the ingredients or make your own concoction like so. Train hard. Realize that most of training comes from the mindset, not the pre-workout alone. Don't feel like you can't work out if you don't have your pre-workout. Agreed on that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that is all we have to say about pre-workout. So, we'll see you next time. You ready? No. <laughs> now it's ready. Now? Yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs>